So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the shoulder and how we can do exercises to help us to build a stronger shoulder. The rotator cuff helps us support the arm into the shoulder socket. Now the muscles surrounding that, like the trapezius, the rhomboids, the serratus anterior, etc., they help to support the rotator cuff. Now we need to have all these strong so we can have a healthy shoulder joint. Now there's a couple of things that can be a problematic. One is that we have nerve tension. So we have tight and short muscles. Now the tight muscles are the ones that are impacted by the nervous system and the mind. They are the ones that often require myofascial release techniques and trigger points to be able to get longer. You can do as many two minute holds of stretching and you get no longer. That's because you have a tight muscle which needs to conversate with the nervous system to release the tension and go into the parasympathetic nervous system. Now if you have a short muscle, you could hold a two minute stretch and you will get results. So be mindful whether you have nerve tension or not because that is going to impact how you're going to address a muscle to get its flexibility. Now, another thing to understand is a great way to test it because the forearm muscle doesn't pass the shoulder. If you place your hand here and do a median nerve glide, you're going to turn out and if you start to feel tension, you'll know that you have nerve issues. Okay, and you can do this either here or coming up onto your fingertips. You can also floss by doing this movement and the tension should be around three to five and you do 10 repetitions and over time that can release the nerve being stuck going through the fibers because what happens is the nerve doesn't glide well through the fibers and then it causes these tension and stuck points. So we need to get nerves also functioning beautifully through as well. So that's just a little test you can do to see, for example, if you had a medium, and a lot of people will, um, nerve tension through your nerves up in this area. Now, exercises to do. A great exercise would be to put your band on the wall. A rotator cuff exercise would be to face the wall, bring tension on the band, bring the band back at your shoulder level, bring your ribs in, bring your shoulders in a line and back, and rotate through. This is a nice rotator cuff exercise. Another option here would be to have the band here down below, elbow into the body, and you're going to open up to the side and back, doing 10 to 20 repetitions. This is also going to help make a stronger and more sound rotator cuff. Now remember, if you're someone like me who's an inversion person, if you want to actually add the inversion technique onto it, practice your short body in handstands. So that means tuck your glutes under, tuck your ribs in and open your chest. This is your handstand position. So you can also condition your shoulders in your handstand position while doing these exercises, in turn benefiting your handstands. Another exercise to do is to add tension onto the band Lifting up to about this height, keeping that handstand position if your hands are there, and pulsing back. Pulsing back a little bit behind your ears here, but don't do this, okay? So you're pulsing back really fast for around 20. That's going to really help to strengthen your shoulders. And then after that, grab the band and bring your band up high and do small circles, 10 one way and 10 the other. These types of exercises are great strength and conditioning or rehab exercises if you have got issues with your shoulders. So give them a whirl and see how they feel. Now if you, I'm just gonna drop you down to the floor now to show you a couple of exercises. If you have trigger points and you wanna release off, what I found to be really helpful with trigger points is doing three sections. One is the pec minor, two is the front deltoid, and three is in at the scapula. You simply find a sensitive spot on the front of your pec minor. This hand here turns face down. Once you've found that sensitive spot, lie on it for a minute and then release. This will get the blood flow going and also release off tension. Then you're going to move it to the front here and you're going to find a sensitive spot, lie down and hold for the one minute. Finally, you're going to place it on the back here Find a sensitive spot, move the, hug yourself so you can open up that sensitive spot, 
and hold there for a minute and release. And then the blood flow will come into these spots and help you to heal and help you to move through the tension as well. Now remember when you're doing exercises, another important thing to understand is the shoulder has a 180 degree rotation. Now with the shoulder having that, there's two joints that create that. There is the clavicle here, which is the scapula joint, and then with your shoulder blade, it's the shoulder joint, okay? Now the shoulder blade area and the scapula work together to make the 180 degrees rotation. 120 comes from here, and the shoulder joint creates the other 60. It's very important when your arms are overhead, you not only shrug, but you wrap them around. If your shoulders are out here, it's going to be likely that you're going to cause injury, strain and stress unnecessarily. It's very important to lift up and shrug and wrap your shoulders around. When your arms are at the side, this is when you drop your shoulders down and back. That is not up here, which a lot of people have been advised over time, but with new research and also working with a lot of circus performers, these potential movements of always down and back actually aren't the most beneficial. And lastly, when you come in a tabletop type of position, a lot of people ask you to open up your chest. But as you can see, your shoulders naturally wrap forward. And if you have your hand behind you, this is position that your shoulder blade needs to be in. You support it, of course, by the core, but you don't open up because then you're also pinching and irritating the shoulder joint. So I hope this helps you to learn a little bit more about shoulders and how to condition them, how to release them if you have tension, and also the nerve as well. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Thank you for all your support. It really means a lot. Creating this content is an absolute pleasure for you all, but I do it out of free and out of the goodness of my heart and hope I can help others, as does many other YouTube people and creators on here. So your support means the world to us because in a world today, it's also robotic. And a lot of times, no algorithms or anything are allowing us with so many wonderful people to be seen. So just to hit a like, a subscribe, or a thumbs up means the world to us to be able to keep on creating for you all. And remember, if you're not resonating with content, there's so many wonderful souls out there, so jump onto their platforms and support them as well. Have a great day. Namaste.